corticosteroids uses is our topic for the day. First of all, let us understand adrenal gland. Adrenal gland has cortex and medulla, correct? Now, in cortex, uh, you can have zona glomerulosa, which will release mineralocorticoids. Then you have zona fasciculata, which will release glucocorticoids. And then you have zona reticularis, which will release androgens. Okay, this much did you understand? Glucocorticoid example will be cortisol, corticosterone, cortisone, etc. Okay. Mineralocorticoid example can you give? Aldosterone. Okay. Basically, if you know this much, we can move on. Some corticosteroids, let's see, mineralocortico, mineralocorticoids, DOCA, de, desoxycorticosterone acetate, that is DOCA. Then you can remember aldosterone, we have already told you aldosterone. Remember in the previous one, we told you aldosterone, yes, mineralocorticoid. Aldosterone is a mineralocorticoid. Then glucocorticoid, you have a cortisone, like we told you, cortisol, right, cortisol. Hydrocortisone is what? It is a cortisol. Okay. Then you have some important ones I will tell you. Dexamethasone. Dexamethasone. Betamethasone. Hydrocortisone. All these zones are here. Right. Here aldosteron is there. Doka is there. So this much you should know. Now where do you use these corticosteroids? We should know the uses of corticosteroids. You will use them in hormone replacement therapy and then you will use them in pharmacotherapy. Pharmacotherapy means for non-endocrine diseases. Hormone replacement therapy is endocrine disease, okay, like uh, adrenal insufficiency, right? That time it could be acute or chronic, then you want to give hormone replacement therapy. Congenital adrenal hyperplasia, hyperplasia could be confusing to the word, but however, the... Um, a synthesis of hydrocortisone and aldosterone actually suffers in this condition. Okay. Addison's disease is adrenal insufficiency. There could be depression in this one. Remember? So, we have studied that in antidepressants. So, basically, we are going to use hormone replacement therapy if there is adrenal insufficiency. And if there is uh, any pharmacotherapy required, we look at the details now. For endocrine diseases, we can use the corticosteroids like example there are 16 of them so let me put them in the next slide okay so